I just wanted to give you a little bit more in-depth review of my uh, cord cutting, which I've cut the cord a couple of three years ago. But anyway, uh, I purchased this Smart TV, if you've been following some of my videos, I purchased a Smart TV a couple months ago, which I really didn't want a Smart TV, but uh, now that I've got it, very interesting, intriguing. Now, this, the guide you're watching here uh, is coming in over the air. Okay, that is the metadata that's embedded into the stream that comes through the air to our antenna, our rabbit ears. So, anyway, this is the guide that you get by just hooking up a set of rabbit ears to your TV and point them in the right direction. So in my case, I get about 30, I think about 35, 36 different channels and probably about eight or 10 of those are high definition channels. And it plays them very well. So anyway, I just want to show you that. So this is a regular TV being used as a TV with rabbit ears, which probably people think that's crazy. Nobody ever uses rabbit ears on TV anymore. But, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. So um, now you got Netflix. So you got uh, 4K, Ultra HD, 4K. So you've got all these uh, movies, TV shows, whatever, are broadcast in 4K, Ultra HD. Now, be noted that I am uh, connecting my TV with the internet through, uh, through Ethernet. So it's connected to the internet by Ethernet going through my uh, gigabit switches and routers. So, Anyway, uh, that's your um, Netflix. Now you also got YouTube, HBO. Now I do not pay for HBO, but uh, they give it to me since I got the uh, Comcast uh, internet, which is a little bit less than 50, $50, wait a minute, I think it's about $51 a month. They give me free HBO. So if there's anything I want to watch on HBO, it's there. But I rarely ever uh, watch HBO because I like watching uh, the channels over the air. But anyway, for those that um, like HBO, again, it, they give it to me free, so I can't complain about that. Okay, now I go to Plex. Now Plex, that's another uh, media server that uh, actually displays a lot of eye candy. Uh, displays your movies that you've ripped to uh, a different external devices or uh, recorded TV shows, which I've got a bunch of recorded TV shows. So it makes it so a lot easier to use this. So, but anyway, McLeod, that's why I started watching that. And again, I'm running this on a Pine 64 board. It's a little, I showed you in my other video, it's a little uh, developer's board, if you will. So actually it's working pretty good doing that. Uh, so it really didn't take that long to uh, start working, but all, again, all my stuff is stored on one of my NASs. I've got a couple NASs and an external hard drive also. So anyway, I've got uh, different devices that's got my media on it. So uh, there, you know, with that icon there, I can uh, uh, play it from where I left off. Again, I can go to any of my TVs and it will give me this icon. So I can be watching it here, pause it, or shut it down and go into the bedroom and pick it up right where it left off. So that's a nice feature. So place from the beginning, blah, blah, blah. So it does all that. On deck. Okay, we're back to that. MB pretty much is the same thing. Now MB, I've got it running on my little micro PC. For whatever reason, it was struggling working on the Pine Box. It'll work, but it works a little bit better running on my little micro PC. Movies, TV shows. Again, it's a little bit slow putting the stuff on there. But there's a lot of metadata that it's grabbing from my the internet and from my hard drives and displaying it. So a 
But these are all the different series that I've got that I've uh, recorded and stored on there. So season one, season one, season two, season one, season one, episode one, episode two, three, blah, blah, blah. So actually that's pretty neat. Makes it a whole lot easier to grab what I want to watch. And same for all, all these uh, that I've recorded. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, just to give you uh, Netflix 4K, live TV, you get all the different channels. And again, I think I've got about 35, 38 different channels, and uh, about 8 or 10 of those are high definition channels. And I can edit the different channels that I've got, either turn them on, mask them out, whatever I want to do with that. So anyway, I just want to show you now, this one, I'm using all this information. This is on my 65-inch uh, Samsung uh, TV, and uh, they've, it's already dropped in price since I bought it, but uh, uh, for about, well, reasonably priced, you get, a, you get a pretty decent. And again, I did not want to purchase a smart TV, but after I've had it, after I've played with it for a couple months, it is awesome. But I can do all this with one remote except for the audio. I've got the uh, the audio being fed from the TV down to my uh, AV receiver so I have to use my other uh, remote, my uh, universal remote for that for the volume. I could probably set it up to this one but I have not done that. So anyway I use one remote and I can control all of these different things and I can do whatever I want to do and I don't have to pay uh, Comcast or Uverse or any of the other ones. I don't have to pay them $150, $200 just to watch program that I want to watch. So I'm paying a little over $50 for internet. And I think everybody knows what Pandora is. So, but anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. So, uh, but I'm very glad that I purchased the smart TV. Uh, don't know why. Well, I went to get a different TV that was not a smart TV, but it did not fit my, uh, what I wanted to do with it. So anyway, thank you.